Good evening, guys. Coming to you from the Hobby Barn basement. Um, I wanted to give you just a very quick uh, and easy modification for the F4 Phantom 90, the A1080 millimeter, and in this case, the F22 Raptor, either 6 or 8S 90 millimeter. Um, <laughs> there has been, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's experienced the pin breakage. Um, the stock pins that come in the planes, you get them, they look beautiful. They're this shiny metal and they're all ready to go to pop in. And then you get them in there and you have a harder landing. Or if you fly off grass, catch a pothole, and guess what? Strut breaks off. Usually right there at the where it connects to the trunnion piece. Now... Most of us complain and think, wow, those pins should be hardened and they shouldn't break and blah, blah, blah. Well, there's a couple of reasons why they break. Uh, the obvious one is so we buy more. But the real reason is so we don't tear the gear out of the mount or tear the mount out of the bottom of the airplane and foam the, and damage the foam. Um, for a lot of us, that's kind of irrelevant. Um, we just don't want the pins to break. And I have found that the easiest way to eliminate this problem is create your own. And as you can see, right next to the stock pin, you have an identical one that I have made with nothing more than a Dremel. Uh, and these E-Flight 6120 main gear wire struts, they are identical. I believe these are either 4 or 5 millimeters, um, but they are a spot match for the replacement pins. So it's literally just as simple as measuring it on the wire, cut it with your Dremel, and then once you get it off, what I recommend is what you don't realize is the long end of this is what feeds into the trunnion piece. So, and yes, I'm using the stock pin just because um, you want this piece to feed in all the way until it gets to the top right there. So it's just right at the edge of the top. So what I have done in mine is when you feed it in there, you put it all the way in, and then I tighten down one side of the set screws. Then I turn it over, do the same thing, and then once that's on, take your, your uh, strut piece, feed your strut piece up into it. Make sure that it's straight and that the, the set screws line up with the landing gear and in the trunnion. If they don't, slide this back off and make small adjustments with your Dremel on the pin. So that at the bottom of it, it comes flat and then lines up. Now it takes a little finagling. And as you can see, it won't be perfect. Sometimes you get a drag mark or whatever. But if you look closely, you can see where my set screws have actually come into contact with this pin. Uh, this became my replacement pin. I have a few of the stock ones that you can buy just as <laughs> backups in an emergency. But I can tell you right now, the replacement with the hardened wire strut uh, wire, they don't break. They might bend a little here and there, but they do not break. Uh, in fact... I had one really terrible landing a while back, and you can't, it's not on this one, but on the top of the strut piece, it actually hogged the hole out. It was so bad. Uh, my fault, tailwind caught it, just stupidity on my part. But regardless, it's a simple fix, and there's no reason why in 20 minutes you can't cut a new pin or a couple of new pins, square them off, round the edges so they fit in nicely. Put in a little bit of your Loctite on your on your grub screws, tighten them down, and now you've got an instant fix and a hard wire replacement for three of Freewing's most popular models. Uh, and I will say, since I've done this in grass ops, and that's all I fly out here on runway 270, um, I've not broken one since. So, just so if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. If you didn't, don't leave a comment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.